Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you've been with us before, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time, this is Lee Allen Presents. I am Alan, and this is my partner, Leanne. This, as you've already seen from the title card, uh, literally about 20 seconds ago, this is going to be uh, issue 10. Maybe. 10, I think, <laughs> of our Marvel United campaign crossover map. Crossover campaign map. I can't remember which way around ah. it is. Uh, by Dom2D. Um, so, as Leanne is, is very... Uh, fond of saying um, this this crossover campaign map crossover campaign map is the right way around <laughs> uh, takes out that decision paralysis kind of thing although when you start unlocking absolute shed loads of heroes it becomes a little bit like oh well I'm straight back to, to, to step one you know but a little bit um, yeah so this is issue 10 I think I'm pretty sure it's issue 10 <laughs> as such there is nine previous issues um, you might watch issues one through eight and not nine we may or may not have failed nine um, possibly yeah. Um, but we are back once again to try and take out the evildoers of the Marvel Universe. We're not diving back into Lady Destra right now because we feel that we want to go on a different tangent somewhere, maybe see if there's done, get some um, of the special tokens you can get off the map and use them during that scenario. That might be a bit of a help. So instead, we are facing Strife. Leanne. I feel like we're out of the frying pan into the fire. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, Strife. Cool. Um... So he's pretty mean also. Um, special rules. One, on each hero turn, the first <sighs> thug attack requires two punches to be defeated. <laughs> it gets worse. Um, on his BAM, so if we reveal one of his cards that has a BAM on it, uh, we deal one damage to each hero in his location and add one thug to the next <clears throat> location clockwise with an empty slot. What? So he's trying to fill these up with thugs. Oh, dear God. <clears throat> the overflow, if one or more civilian or thug token can't be added to a location, turn all civilians into thugs in the next location clockwise with any civilians. <clears throat> and the villainous plot, the heroes lose if all locations are fully occupied by thugs. So that's definitely his mission. So we're going to get rid of thugs, get rid of him. Okay. Um, there's two different types of <clears throat> threats, so I think there's three of each. We've got force fields. <laughs> as long as this threat is in play, Strife ignores one damage during each hero turn, and they are cumulative. So if all three are in play, he's ignoring three damage each hero turn, which is a lot. And his other thing is the legacy virus. A hero starting this turn in this location, so it's this one, that one, and that one, can either choose, not can, they either choose to skip the draw a card stat or ignore one action symbol at the bottom of the hero cards. So we're being disadvantaged. So you... Can I quit now? <sighs> Might be easier. <laughs> there you go. We'll give it a go. We, we, lost, <coughs> we lost poor Wolverine last time. R.I.P. Wolverine. Well, he comes back. Um, so... I'm sure we'll unlock Old Man Logan and Weapon X and, and whoever else is on there. <laughs> There's a future past Wolverine. So there's another three Wolverines yeah. in the game somewhere. So. And there are options on <laughs> the crossover campaign map to revive fallen heroes. So we got ways. Um, but because of our experience last time of not completing it, we've maybe um, decided <laughs> to choose heroes that are pretty beefy. <laughs> so I'm playing Rogue and X-23. Who is technically a clone of Wolverine. Yeah, so we still got Wolverine with us. Yep, and I'm playing as Colossus and the ever-loving blue-eyed thing. Yeah, so hopefully we got some more... Powerhouse. Power! Um, whether, we'll see whether that works. So we usually try and have quite a, a well-rounded team. Yeah. But sometimes you just got to punch stuff. I mean, looking at his health stack as well, that's kind of scary. It's is this 12. the biggest one we've had so far? It's I can't like, remember. I can't remember. I think it might be <clears throat> 12 health. So I guess um, we start with the villain turn anyway. Yep. And then, yeah, we'll use that to we'll see which the, of us goes first. We'll do the old... Uh... Um, and go from there. See what we can do. It's... How do you keep doing that? It's just fake. That's the second time in a row. So okay. I guess cool. X-23 I'll have first, but... <laughs> strife first. First. God, here we go. One clockwise. Yep. And bat. Um... So there's no one in his location, but we get a thug in the next clockwise one, which is this one. And then we put a civilian. Okay, so he is generating civilians. That's good. But we've already got overflow, which sucks. No, wait, I'm putting it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. Oh, we still did. 
we do still have overflow because uh, two are meant to go here. So that means <clears throat> the next clockwise one to the overflowing one is this one. So these two turn into things. two of them. Oh, that's it's harsh. all of them. Yeah, yeah, that's harsh. So that's a great start. Is your mic on? Is it? Yeah. Go, go, go. <clears throat> we good. That's a very good start, isn't it? Yeah. Dear oh, God. Whoa. Okay. That's also a good start. Starting hands. Are we pulling so, starting hands all together? We usually do. Okay. So three cards in your starting hand. Because um, who knows what's going to happen. All right. Let's go. And X23 will begin. <sighs> okay. We do have a healing factor, which I usually like to try and get out first because... Healing factor. <laughs> so it's, as long as this card is facing the storyline, any other explanation? If you have less than three cards in hand, at the end of the villain turn, you may draw one card, and it has got a punch. But it, uh, so I'll just punch one of these thugs. Yep. Wait. I I feel really bad that the first no, person that won't work. No, it won't because of the double punch you thing. Need two. Uh, I guess just the, the thing of do you just do it to get the healing factor out? No, but then it's useless. Whereas I could either do a double wild, which I can use two punches to kill one thug, or this tactical genius card, which is a star, so I can put one in there. And for each star you perform this turn, give one move or punch token from the pool to another hero. Yeah. So I could then make sure the next person is able to do an extra punch while helping get rid of one of these. Yeah. So maybe that's the right one to start and hopefully... If there's a punch before the next turn, <laughs> yeah, she can do something more useful. That is a nasty rule to have there every all the time. Yes, it's nasty. Okay, I'll do that. I don't want to waste anything, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> would you mind if Rogue gets the? Well, she's acting punch? next, so that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Rogue. Rogue's turn. Okay. Now, I could do something interesting where, so Rogue, there's a few of these cards in her deck, which is Ability Absorption, use a special effect of another hero's face-up card in the storyline. Mm. It's got a star, yeah. so, <clears throat> but then I wouldn't be using, it says to any hero, so it doesn't mean it can't be the same hero, right? If it says any hero, it doesn't say any other hero. So I could give a token to myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd read it that way. So if Rogue used this, <clears throat> she'd use two stars to clear this completely mm -hmm. and would be able to give herself one punch to get rid of one thug <clears throat> and also give one punch to whoever's going first. She can't because the thug, first thug's got to do two punches. So she'll have this one yeah. plus the one that she gives herself from using one star. Yeah. And the other star will give her another Oh, to right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. Right? Yeah, I see what you mean. That got really meta and really confused me. <laughs> yeah, we do this. That was almost like punchception. Copying this yep. thing. Yep. So she uses one star on here, mm -hmm. which means she can get an extra punch, punch. token. Yep. And then the other star clears this. Yep. And that punch goes to whoever's going next. Okay. Ooh, but it's nasty. It's nasty. Oh, why did we do this? Well, one card if possible. And you must discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck okay. at the end of your turn. Oh, dear God. Right. So two punches, <clears throat> take out one thug. It's something. It's not nothing. Okay, but then she does end here. So she draws a card, <clears throat> if possible. I don't know why that wouldn't be possible. Unless you've got every single card in your hand. I mean, yeah, you might be towards the end of the, the track at that point, yeah. Uh, true. Then you <clears throat> must discard one card from your hand to the bottom of the deck. So I guess it's going to be one of these single wilds. And that's Rogue's turn. So what do I go next? Colossus or Thing? That's a tricky one. Let me just consult the starting hands <laughs> and see what I've got. Star. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I punched a thug, didn't I? Put him in the wrong place. I feel that bunching up is going to be too dangerous. So I'm going to go Colossus. I'm going to say last was given to Colossus. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> okay, that's interesting. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to use my starting card, Organic Steel Body. As long as this card is face up in the storyline, you may ignore one damage during each villain turn. Nice. It's got a punch, and I got this punch. So I'm going to take out one of those thugs, get rid of that, and then she can pop that in the time with me. <clears throat> You've got a star. Um, you can't do anything with it. No. Okay. Oh wait, I got to do this as well. Anyway. Draw one card, then discard one to the bottom of your deck. That was easy. Yep. Okay. It's all right at the moment. It's like late game. It's a problem, isn't it? Yes. Okay. He goes one clockwise, <coughs> and bam. So there's no one in his location. So he will add one thug to the next clockwise. Then he adds one thug here, which is an <sighs> overflow. So the next location that has civilians is this one. So they turn into thugs, okay. and then this gets two thugs. And this overflows, so that's going to flip over oh as well. Oh my god. This is going quick. So, it doesn't end, though, until every space is occupied with mm -hmm. thugs. Right, okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, it's all locations <laughs> fully occupied. All right, so if we got a punch. things able to put one punch down at least, that would be really helpful for X23. Um. <laughs> all right. Oh, wait, I've drawn. It's fine, I'm going to do it anyway. Um, so, much like Colossus, I've got my starting card. Rock-like skin. As long as this card is face-up in the straw line, you may ignore one damage during each villain turn. And it's a punch. So I got that punch, I got Colossus' punch, so let's smack a thug. That's so annoying that's just one <clears throat> thug at a time. Okay, and then I've got to do this draw cards thing. Let's put that one to the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> okay. Let's get this healing factor <coughs> out. Two punches. Thug. I feel sorry for Rogue. <laughs> like, we've all got, like, void damage or yeah. healing factor, and she's just like, huh. I just gotta draw. What am I, chop liver? <laughs> uh, this one. Okay. <coughs> Rogue. <sighs> okay, what do we need? What do we need to do? We need to try and stop things over. I feel, yeah, we need to get something done with this one and maybe that one if possible, or that one if possible. Okay, so I could do double wild, which means I can move, and then I'll have two punches <laughs> to get rid of that thug. Or you could use stars to get rid of the civilians. Yeah, but that's... <laughs> I could do that with this, but then I'd have a punch I'm not using, which is always a the pain. The catch of it, though, is though if he's going to put two civilians down in this location or two thugs, it's going to overflow. Well, that'll happen either way. <laughs> Not if you get rid of the two civilians. I can't get rid of the two civilians. There's no way. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I need to move first. Um, you got to keep in mind that starting thing as well. Oh, yeah. I don't know. What do we do? What do we do? I don't think there's anything you can do except for move and punch. <laughs> well, hopefully the double wild will be helpful for someone. Punch the thug. <clears throat> punch the thug. And I don't have to do the draw card thing, so me. <laughs> Two clockwise. Okay. Bam. Okay. So um thug here. Thank you. And then one thug here. Two there, so it overflows. Two here. This is not going <clears throat> Okay. Is that it? Colossus. Damn, that was uh ooh. It's really rough. What do we do? Which of your <laughs> I don't know if I should be able to be I should be asking this, but which of your two characters oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. How many if you could say how many punches you've got on the cards in your hand right now, how many would they be? <laughs> Rogue's got none. Okay. X twenty three has two. Okay. There's some wilds involved, but Do you want to go for a little trip? Okay. <laughs> Fastball special. Move another hero from your location to an adjacent location. Oh, that hero, then. <laughs> that hero shows their hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd see that. I wouldn't. Uh, the hero shows their hand and deals as many punches that are shown at the bottom of their cards. Okay, where are we going? So if there's only one thing with the, with the thugs, it's got to be an adjacent location. So uh, I'll fling you here. Okay. 
two and then, punches. Yeah, so you take out this thug. Okay. And that's the one in your player turn. So if you've got any, if you can punch anything else, you can do it one thug, one damage. Well, I've got the two wilds there as well, aren't I? Yep. So there's that. And then... Mm, so do I come here and punch two thugs? Or do I move twice and punch one thug? Mm. Or do I just do two thugs from here? Oh, it's tricky. Anything could overflow. Let's go with the two where I'm stood now, I think. Okay. I think that's probably the safest bet. Right, one more thug and we're... And then... Opening that up. I don't know if I want to move because Strife is right there. Is the trick of it. Well, they've moved two, one, and one, so... <laughs> Who knows? Let me. I'll move here and join Rogue then. Hi. I think, even though it's got that thing there, it, it's. I think that's the safer option. Okay, and then things turn. Oh my god! So what have we got there? Move. Okay. <laughs> and then I could. <laughs> What are you doing? Stretching my leg out. I'm gonna <laughs> just in the off chance it might help X23. I'm gonna play two wilds. I'm gonna use the move to join Colossus and Rogue, and I'm gonna use two wilds as stars to try and start clearing this threat. Cool. Or do I do one star and one civilian? Maybe that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. I'm just thinking that <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> okay, X23. Okay. Right. Oof. I was just abandoned Madripoor. <laughs> Where am I? Yeah. Oof. <laughs> How about... Do we want to clear this threat? That's probably a good idea, right? Most likely. So, if I use a double wild... <laughs> no, bear, yeah, so bear mm -hmm. in mind, that's all you're going to be able to do, because you're going to lose... Two movement. I'm here, so two oh, movement. Oh, cool, 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 cool. And oh, two yeah, yeah. stars? <laughs> yeah. She's got other cards that make the double punches on the previous card, but that depends on what the thing plays. Yeah. Okay, cool. One, two, and yep. we'll clear this. Yeah. Because that will help everyone else. Uh, end of turn, you may gain one punch token. You may exchange action tokens with another hero in this location. Interesting. Uh, Rogue. Can I sit? Have you taken oh, punch token? punch token. Can I suggest giving that to Rogue? Okay. And I would probably say that might be a priority. I didn't like it though. Okay. <clears throat> Depends on what you can do, really, but so you do have two wilds. Two wilds. Oh, wait, hang on. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just I've already it. drawn. Um, okay, it doesn't move. Bam. <laughs> so a thug on that one. Psionic Mastery. <laughs> Until the beginning of the next villain turn, cancel all special effects on heroes' cards. Okay. Rogue doesn't have any, so that's fine. Cool. Uh, so Rogue has his punch. <laughs> so... <clears throat> I need to use two punches to get a thug, but if I get one thug, that's he's going. Gonna, yeah, but he's going to start acting twice every two turns. Yeah. Exactly. So, if I instead <coughs> used a move and oh, but I can't use that, I can't <coughs> use that punch then. No, no. But you could start clearing a threat. Yeah. Or clearing civilians. One so or we'll the other. do move star, <coughs> so we can move. So we can either do two civilians and one star, or two stars and one civilian. Probably two civilians, right? Yeah. I would say clear the threat, but. I don't know if that's going to work against us yeah, at some point. Yeah, real shortage of civilians to clear this one. So, um. Yeah, no, as we are saying, clearing the threat might have been more advantageous because you would have cleared so that. But then the downside is that you're going to end up... Um, I do that, I think. So you're doing the two wilds as stars. And the stars are... using that to clear one civil... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yep. Cool. Okay. Did it? Colossus? <clears throat> So what have I got to play with? The move and a star. Move, a star. The pretty good things. I don't want to do that. Okay. Um, blah, blah, blah. So I just, just for my own sanity's sake, if 
these slots are empty, he cannot win by default. Because there's no thugs there. They have to be filled. Every one of them has to be filled with a thug. All heroes lose. The heroes lose if all locations are fully occupied. Gotcha. By I just wondered if for my own sanity's mm -hmm. sake, you know, I'm going to get a bit uh, twitchy about it. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> I haven't got enough civilians to rescue. Terrible. <laughs> If all the civilians are gone, the overflow isn't a problem anymore. What do I want to do here? This is difficult. Mm, this helps clear the okay. threats. Okay, so if I was to use that. Mm -hmm. So, move and clear the threat with a star. And then I'll use the wild to clear a civilian. You may discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck to gain one punch and one move token. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> All right. Same. Uh, yep. <laughs> so I guess the other... Oh, so is that all the force fields? No, it's this one. That one there. So I've got a mm. wild there. Clear a threat on this turn is the problem. So I could move over here and start clearing the force field. Mm -hmm. Is that this is the last force field left? Yes, yes, it is. So let me play that one and I will use that to move. I will use the other move and I will put a star on here. Cool. Start clearing the force field. All right. <clears throat> Strife. Four clockwise. Oh dear God. <laughs> Bam. Okay. So he will deal one damage to each hero in his location. So that is only X23. X23. She has a healing factor though. Yep. So that should be okay. Um, okay. Two thugs in his location. Oof, no, okay. sorry. One in his. Okay, look, I clear that one. Look. Two next to it and two the other. Oh, Way Throwing thugs. That's a hell of a shot. Thanks. So, so still a civilian that? Yeah. Still one civilian. It's behind Colossus. I was like, what is that? It's no overflow <laughs> this time. Okay, <coughs> healing factor. Cool. Next, uh, next. So I've got a move and a star. <coughs> Dora. Ooh, okay. So if I... I need another move, really. Oh. And you've got one here. Yeah, if I'm going to get No, here. I know, I'm just saying you got that. So I won't be able to clear that on this turn, but that's probably that's okay. Fine. Is it worth maybe just focusing on the, the, the overflow on them too? But we don't want to clear a thug. So all I'd be able to do is try and get rid of that civilian. civilian. <laughs> Which feels like it's only a little bit helpful, you mm. know? But I guess that's <clears throat> best I can do. If I put this one, <laughs> we'll move here. So his thing is non-negated, right, because of the planet cards being played? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Just wanted, yeah, I just want to double check. Um, so I use a star to rescue a civilian. Because I've done that, I can either give a move or a punch to another hero. Okay. Um, I don't know. Rogue's already got one. So someone else want one? I don't know. Or is, or is a move helpful? Because we're all quite far away from here. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe a move on... Who's next? Rogue, uh, Rogue's Colossus, next. Uh, Rogue's next, and then Colossus. Oof, she hasn't got... She's only got single mm. symbol cards. All of mine is doubles, so I don't know if that's worth giving me... Oh, but then I won't be able to move her anyway. <laughs> tricky. wasting a turn. It's tricky. Yes. <clears throat> So I give rogues a move. I yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could just give her a wild, and then you can. I can't give her a wild. It's a move or a punch. Oh, okay. Um, and then I've got <laughs> another star that I can't do anything with. Hmm. Okay. Rogues turn. You're not Come enacting on. the end of turn thing. Um. No, I don't think <clears> so. <throat> okay. Power absorption. What do we want to steal? Can we steal something? How about a fat? No, we don't want to punch anything right now. 
Well, it's only one punch, right? <laughs> well, I'd be using a fastball special. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, no, I haven't got really. The only thing I could potentially use is that, but she wouldn't be able to get anywhere enough to use. That's rubbish. She can only move up to two. I might as well start working way over, I guess. But Yeah. So I guess we do this. We move to... Is it worth keeping one of the tokens for now? Keep, keeping that token for now? Because when Strife becomes damageable, he might be too far away from me. Okay, yeah. That I'll might be then. a better option. Use the start to rescue the civilian. Yep. <laughs> and at the end of the turn, again, a punch token. Yep. I'm going to just stock up. Okay. Colossus. Now, if Colossus can <laughs> clear two things now, then that would be great, but I don't think it's going to happen. I should have given you a move. I should have given it to you. It's such a good wreck on it, I guess, but I don't Maybe I will. If I I've had an that. extra move, I can clear this. Let me just say that was you. The retcon! Okay, so Everybody gets one. Use that then to move one. I'm going to use that one. Oh, wait, can I? Mm -hmm. You'd need to be able to do two stars plus a punch. Wait, no, hang on. Which would have to be two punches. Hang on, I had something in my head then. Hang on, I had something in my head and I just lost it. No, I can't. <laughs> They only put one card down. Duh. Keep that. We're not okay. it. We'll just do that and then. Then retcon. I'm gonna. Retcon the retcon. What am I gonna do? Got no more civilians to rescue. Our usefulness is limited. Did you do that at the end of Rose Ten? Yep. Okay. You got two punches. So this. Leech thing, you didn't use that for that? No, you can't. Okay. Because you did, I thought you used the star as well. I used the star. Yeah. But I don't get to use that. Oh, I thought you were talking about using the. the, the yeah, skills, there wasn't so. anything useful to use. So, the way I'm looking at it, right, mm -hmm. with Colossus, where he is right now, Strife's going to go next. Mm -hmm. So, is there any point really in waiting to use. The punch is to take out a thug. Because True. he's going to act next, anyway, go next right? anyway, And then we just have to try and do this before, as soon as possible. Okay. <laughs> so double wild. So even if Thing doesn't have any stars, he's got double wild to use. That's what I mean. Yeah. So I can clear it on my next turn anyway, okay. so that's fine. So, so you double punch, punch a thug. Punch thug. And I think... That clears that. Am I going to move or am I going to stay? I think I'm going to move, and I'm going to go into the mountains here to enact this end of turn. You may gain one punch token. So Colossus has a punch token. Cool. And next up is Mr. Strife. Two clockwise. Oh, God. Bam. So one damage to the thing. Nope. Cool. Rock he negates skin. it once a turn. Rock skin. And uh, we need to put a thug in here. <laughs> is that it? And uh, then he adds oh. a civilian here. Oh, no. That overflows. This overflows. So with that overflow, so it's supposed to be two this turns to... Yeesh. Well, you yeah, can't do it. Yeah, you're nice. And with this overflow, that turns. So... Yeesh. <laughs> Pretty close. Uh, okay, so he's going every two turns. So it's the thing next. Is that 23 still on three turns? Where's X23 over there? Damn it. Would you say pounding on strife is more beneficial than getting rid of thugs right now? It's tough, isn't it? We've still got we've got one, two, three to four to play with. So I think yes, I would try and take Okay. Try and damage strife. <laughs> so double wilds in this to clear the threat. <clears throat> okay. And then I'm gonna beat on strife for two. Because there's no force fields in play now? Nope. No, there's not. So Strife takes two damage. <laughs> okay. X23. Mm -hmm. Can I get there? Nope. 
that's why I was trying to work out my cards and there's no way. So... <clears throat> so is it worth just... Can you move once and then use double punches or something? Master Martial Artist, double each punch on the previous hero card in the storyline. Plus there's one move. <laughs> so, so, okay, the first guy takes two punches. So that's two yep. here. Yeah, yeah. This one. Yep. Gonna move. Um, so I've got one, two, three left. So yeah, I'll move here three. and take all three of these. One, two, three punches left. Oh, yeah, one, yeah, yeah. Two, <laughs> three. Smooth. And I'm one step closer to reaching strife, but he'll Get probably the, move again. The ones off the board. It's going to confuse things otherwise. Do, do, do. Right, so strife's next. <coughs> move <laughs> clockwise to the next location with the most heroes. So I guess it's this one. Yep. Telekinesis Mastery. Deal two <laughs> damage to each hero in strife's location. Okay, well, Colossus is negating one. Uh, these two, I guess. Ouch. <coughs> He's gonna regret coming close to me, I tell you that now. <laughs> Ooh, um, with Rogue's ability, I should have, <coughs> when I used that power absorption card, yeah. I should have turned that card upside down after the turn. It doesn't matter, You're really. just making my editing job a lot harder. On Sorry. <laughs> uh, great. Rogue? Yep. Just down mm -hmm. to one card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or two now, but yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we've got a punch and a move there. I'm on strife space. Yeah. We have quite a few now empty spaces, so that's good. <clears throat> so we want to punch in a lot if we can. Do you have to, um, you got tokens over here? Do you got <gasps> move and two to punches? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't know whether it's worth. For one of them <clears throat> trying to get here and punch at least one, but that'll Maybe. take two punches, so that leaves me very little to attack him with. Yes. Well, it depends on what card you're playing, doesn't it? I've either got one punch, or nope. I've got... So, I mean, bear in mind, Colossus is going next as well. Special, <laughs> but it would let me do another punch, but I haven't got anything to use the special for, so it's a bit... doesn't make much difference. Yeah. <clears throat> I think... So I either punch him twice, or... Oh, I can punch him four times. I think I'll just punch him four times, right? Do yep. I punch him four times? If you want. Um, four? Oh, yeah, because you got two, that too. You three, can move as well, and if you wanted to. I think I want to stay where I can get more punches. Four. You are going to gain punch token for that as well. So. Gain a punch at the end of the turn. <laughs> you done? I'm probably going to die. How many health you got left? Um... One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, right. I'm punching with this. Take one damage. And hit for another three. <laughs> three. Colossus is just like, boom, boom, boom. Right, strife. Oh, this could be the end. He doesn't move. Bam. Yeah, one damage to each hero in nope. its location. Colossus is just like... Rogue. Yeah. Think. Okay, so... Okay. So that's a KO, which means the BAM happens again. So, so Colossus, Colossus is going to take one. one. Yeah, that's fine. So there's two BAM, so we should have... <clears throat> one gets added there. <laughs> one gets added there. <clears throat> and then... The thingies, so we get one there. <clears throat> one there. And one overflow, but there's no civilians to flip. Okay. Thing? Thing. Crap. I think I'd probably lose the tokens. Do I lose the tokens on a KO? Oh, I don't know. We haven't had this situation before. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about losing tokens. Sorry. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play a move and a punch. Mm -hmm. I can't get to him. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use two punches to defeat one thug here. Then I'm going to move and use one punch to defeat a thug there. Cool. Just to try and reduce. To draw a card and then discard one. Just to try and reduce that. Uh... Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's go. He's got two health left. X23 is <laughs> all the way over there. I mean, you've got to move here. So if you've got yeah. to move and a punch, you can effectively kill him. 
I do have a move and a punch. <laughs> move and a punch. So we got Let's two steal moves. right on the master plan deck. Two punches. <laughs> Strife be down. Strife be down. Ooh, that was tricky. No one near the level of Lady That's right. That's what that was. Mm. <laughs> oh, I did feel close, though. We'd have yeah. one KO, but she's fine. Yeah. She's fine. But like, I think we did a good enough job of, of, of keeping these things from not overflowing as much as they probably could have. Just about. I'm surprised how many civilians we managed to rescue. I know, right? <laughs> Damn, dude. Cool. Okay, shall we clear some stuff? Yeah, get let's get rid of the top layer see of the things. Yeah. So bear with us a sec. We're going to fast forward to this bit. Okie dokie. Right, so we're over here Ooh. somewhere. We are there. Yes. Okay, so we do to do the drill. So we're beating strife, so we get a brain and okay. a key. There's a key and there's a brain. Nice. We also unlock cable. Oh. Hell yes! Yay. Let's go! Okay, so we have cable. We could use a key and unlock domino, and which we also get a while to use. Mm -hmm. We could use a key and get uh, a, <laughs> a cannonball, cannonball and sunspot. sunspot. How many keys we got? Three keys. We could get both of them. Um, okay. I'm kind of curious about Domino's powers because her mm. mutant powers are based all in luck. Yeah, that's very true. So that could be interesting. Mm -hmm. If we use a cog, we unlock um, this. We get a <laughs> egg timer. Egg timer. <laughs> um, and that unlocks this route to the chimichanga and up to this portal. Which is kind of where we're heading. If we want to get to that point yeah. before July, because we want to put out a, a Deadpool um, cool. video. It would have been cool to still have Wolverine. But Leanne oh, killed him sorry. off last video. Um, but we need to get a Chimichanga yeah. token as Unfortunately, well. Unfortunately, to do that, we need to take out Lady Deathstrike. Uh, so I feel that knowing what we know now about Colossus and, and the thing, negating damage, yeah. they are probably two of the ones I would want to take mm -hmm. into Lady Deathstrike. And we want to make one of those a the hunted person. Yeah, because it negates the damage, yeah. Interesting. Um, cool. Yeah, I mean, so we unlock Cable, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, we can now go on to face Sauron yes. if we need to, or if we want to, um, and then cool. sort of head up towards the apocalypse. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, I think I'd probably want to do, if we can do that, we're going to hit Sauron and then over to Apocalypse with this Logan, yes. Days of Future Past Logan, instead of coming this way and taking on the entire horse from the apocalypse um, thing. Yeah, we want to take him out on his own before with people. Yeah, right? and obviously with Apocalypse, if you do beat him, you gain Apocalypse to play as, so yes. that's cool, and I love Apocalypse, I think he's a fantastic uh, villain. And Archangel as and well. And Archangel, yeah, he's a horseman of death. Cool. We're also kind of on the route here to Sebastian Shaw. <laughs> yes. And that unlocks his whole like section to Shadow. So we kind of yeah, and we got two, and we have got this Ooh. option as well to go through Mastermind and Emma Frost if we wanted to do that. There's a lot of ways to get to, to Sebastian yeah. Shaw. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, we'll we'll figure out where we're going from there yes. next time. But yeah. yeah, that was fun. Um, take us away then. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you. And this time we didn't lose, so it Wee. makes this a lot And Leanne nicer. didn't kill anyone. It was, a, it was Lady Deathstrike killed him. Oh, me. We'll get him back. It's fine. Um, please like this video, like it, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when we drop new videos. Let us know in the comments if there's any particular path that seems interesting to you. We are trying to get to Deadpool. Um, but if, if there's like something you spotted on the map, you're like, ooh, that might be a way mm. to do it, let us know. Um, so you can let us know in the comments or on our socials. We're on Instagram, Twitter, and, and Facebook. I almost said Twitter and X. Yeah, my I, I brain. thought you, I, for some reason my head said that as well. <laughs> my brain. Um, our link tree is in the description below, which will take you to all those places. So follow that, join in the conversation, and join us next <clears> time. <throat> who knows who we're going to be playing as or against. <laughs> cool, good. Um, so until next time, I haven't got anything. Bye -bye. Make mine marble. Make what? <laughs> make mine marble. It's a thing from the comic. Oh, make mine marble. Cool. We like this. Bye.